Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a quick review of the Tokyo Vinyl figure for the special Nerdist Edition MMPR Dino Megazord. That's right, I said Nerdist Edition. I think this is hands down one of the weirdest, odd crossover promotion thingies. I mean, not odd in the sense that it doesn't fit, it's not like it's Power Rangers presented by, like, Dick Sporting Goods, but still, it's just a weird choice that it happened. But yeah, Tokyo Vinyls are just kind of large vinyl figures, sort of in the vein of Pop Vinyls, except, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Um, you know, they're differently stylized. Uh, they did a Megazord one a while back. I think the only ones I ever picked up um, were the Red and White Ranger ones when back when they first started, but they're a bit larger scale. Uh, to get that out of the way, just well, for scale. Here it is next to uh, the black gold um, Megazord from Morphicon. This is like the size of like a Megazord pop. And then playing the role of just a regular pop here is like Pudgy Pig. So you can see like, you know, small, medium, large, basically. So it's taller than those. Obviously you can see the different style, but that's kind of this the scale for it if you wanted to to know that. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting color scheme, obviously based off of the Nerdist colors. I think it kind of works, like I kind of dig it. It looks technological, but it also kind of looks like one of the weirder Bandai of America repaint color choices where they were just kind of running out of ideas. Like, honestly, it kind of reminds me of um, trying to think, oh, the, the Overdrive ones, like, they did a bunch of really weird Overdrive repaints with, like, some weird armor, and that's just kind of what it reminds me of. So, like, simultaneously, I think it kind of works, but also it's kind of a weird combo. Um, something else that separates these from Pop Vinyls is they actually have articulation. You can move the head, you can move the arms all the way around, Wee! just move his head out of the way, and you can actually turn the little arms here, like, for that articulation, which is kind of neat, and you can even turn the legs, which I feel like doesn't serve that huge of a purpose, um, but I do appreciate that. Obviously, the Pop Vinyls wouldn't really work for that, given their design, as you just saw. Um, but like I've mentioned in previous reviews of almost anything that has minimal articulation is that just like a simple head turn like gives it personality so I do appreciate that like I feel just this just him sitting here with the arms a little bit apart and the head makes it a little bit more dynamics which is kind of neat but yeah I think this was kind of a neat release um, not a must have by any means given the price I think it was $59.99 which is ridiculous I don't remember how much the regular Megazord one was but um, unless you're just super into Nerdist or you're some sort of all Dino Megazord variant collector, this is definitely a pass, even though I think it's kind of a neat thing. It's not my absolute favorite color scheme, but for the price, I just can't recommend it. But hey, if you happen to see it on sale this holiday season or if it happens to go on clearance and you like the look of it, it's a neat enough thing, but it's certainly not a must have for your MMPR collection or your Nerdist collection, if anybody has one of those. Anyway, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell so you the notifications for all my videos. Till next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.